All right, David. Speed round. What do you got for me? Speed round. Let's start with Aaron Rodgers. He was on the Pat McAfee show on Tuesday, and he spoke, and he says he thinks he can win the MVP again in the right situation. Well, there are former players and current players and executives that are not happy with Aaron Rodgers for saying that. Not saying that he can't win the MVP, but they're saying you're focused on the wrong thing. Shouldn't it be championships you should be thinking about and not MVPs? Are you all ready for the circus that is Aaron Rodgers this offseason? You know what? Honestly, death, taxes, the Harbaugh song and dance, the Tom Brady, is he going to retire or not, and Aaron Rodgers. These are things that just happen every year. And it goes back to something we talked about yesterday, David. I need to put Aaron Rodgers on the list because he tries his best to be unlikable and hated. And yes, you should be talking about a, a Super Bowl and not an individual award. Maybe you would have had that had you not been jet-setting to the caves and swamps and mountains doing all types of weird things, well, and you would actually work with your wide receivers. I believe Funny it's the what Amazon, happened. just to be factual. Say what? I think it's the Amazon. What you do ayahuasca. I think it's down in Brazil or something. Funny. Funny what happens when you actually sit and practice with your wide receivers. They get better. You get better with them. Uh, He said it all. I don't even care anymore. I hate Aaron Rodgers. Next. So a name that surfaced um, in the news, uh, Browns were looking for a defensive coordinator. Jim Schwartz. I thought this guy was out of football. Jim Schwartz. Yeah. Where the heck has he been? Well, he went from being the next hothead coaching candidate to being fired. Uh, Yeah. Look. They got the talent in Cleveland. They got to figure out how to put it together. That defense, one of the most disappointing defenses in all of football this year. I don't think it's a terrible hire. I don't, David. He was doing a very nice job at multiple stops, and he was on the cusp of getting another gig. And then, well, boom goes the dynamite. Then what happened to him? Out of the league. I mean, oh. I don't know. Right. That's why he I'm was like, on the couch watching, happened? just like we were. I just think that he's a guy that he's a defensive coordinator, and that's it. I don't think he'll ever be a good head coach, but I think he can be a, a really good defensive coordinator. And, you know, you got Miles Garrett. That's a good start. Well, then let me ask you this, because this guy on the offensive side might be just an offensive coordinator. He is going to interview for the Jets' OC job. That is Nathaniel Hackett. Oh, dear Christ. He's also just an offensive coordinator. I, look, just a coordinator. No, I, I think, yeah, David, some guys are. You know, Josh McDaniel, to me, he's a coordinator. And that's it. Don't give him another head coaching job ever again, please. But, yeah, if, if he wants to go and be the OC, great. I mean, I guess McDonald not going to get fired at the, for, from Miami. So that's the next best thing. And Cliff Kingsbury is, you know, somewhere in Thailand not answering phones. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mike. No. Yeah. He's another guy. Hate him. Sucks. Next. Wow, you hate him. He sucks. Okay. All right. I, this one's personal. I kind of need help here. You guys are in the playoffs. You guys have just won in the uh, wild card round. You all we have enjoy a third yourself. string quarterback, David. Probably going to the Super Bowl, Rico. Got I don't know about the Giants, but you're in it, right? My OC staying in Pittsburgh. That's the news today. Yeah. Matt Canada is staying. You're fine. I, no, we're not. You're fine. You need you need bottom some, of the league in offense. But you need some offensive line help. It'll all turn around. You have the pieces. You got studs at wide out. You got Najee. You Pickett, got the quarterback. Pickett was better than we imagined. Playoff Kenny. David, put an O line in there. You're gonna be all right. Can't even get to two hundred yards passing. All and right. It's the offensive line, that's what we're gonna do. Just them. Okay. Well, you gotta balance things out. Help. David, he he was a rookie. Okay. He give him a little bit of time. Think about it. Even the great Peyton Manning was pretty bad his rookie season. So here's what I want to do with some of the remaining teams in the playoffs, some of their issues and concerns. I want to know if you really are seriously concerned with this. Start with the Bengals. Offensive line. Missing Collins. It's a 10 missing out of the 10. guard, Kappa. Now missing Jonah Williams, who is week to week. Yeah, uh, It's a dislocated kneecap. Correct. So, yeah, not this week. Oh, it's 10 out of 10. I think it's going to cost them the game this weekend. And if you want to get geeky... They went from short game, which is like three-step drop, screen package stuff. They went from running 21% of their plays in the short game to once they lost Jonah Williams, it almost was 50%. Joe Burrow is not a three-step drop guy. They're not pushing the ball. They can't protect. And even though Von Miller's out, I just think that's a tough ask to go to Buffalo and get that done when you can't. 
push the ball down the field. Yeah, but you're right. They're they're missing that offensive line, but I, I'm just not afraid of Buffalo. I, I think we've been told how great Buffalo is, Mike, and they still may have enough to beat the Bills this week. Let's talk about the Chiefs and his defense. It's always defense for them. We know what their offense is. They have Chris Jones on defense, but they have tackling issues, inexperience with the secondary. Is that and is, is the secondary going to be the out for them in the playoffs? Go ahead, Rico. Yeah, I mean, because it's going to come to a point where, especially the, when it gets, if they if it is the NF, AFC Championship where it's the Bills and the Chiefs, we expect this, this shootout, you got to be able to get some stops. You got to be three able rookies to, in the second. You got to be able to do something. You can't just have Mahomes out there looking like Danny Dimes. Everything with the Chiefs comes Notice down to pressure. There, David. That's fine. <laughs> hey, if everybody got to play Ed Donatel's Viking defense, Christ, you watch the same game I did, buddy. <laughs> Their guy's running wide open. They're, they're constantly in too high. For the Chiefs, it's all about pressure. It's the pressure up front. It's getting quarterbacks. It's sacks. It, it, that's how they're going to survive. Because you're right. They're not some great coverage unit. They're not going to lock no. you up. But they have the ability to create havoc up front, which begins and ends with Chris Jones. And I think the obvious here, let's move over to the NFC, the obvious with the Eagles. Now, Jalen Hurts has not been on the injury report. They yeah. had a week off, though. Is that the major concern? How effective he'll be no, in the is. one game for week, them? Week 18, he had one designed run, and he ran out of bounds. And he was wincing. Look, everything, everything you've heard is it's not just a sprained shoulder. There is something structural with the collarbone. I, David, it's hard to speculate. Did, did the two weeks off – Help him, get him over the edge. I don't know. Um, I know Cookies brought this up when we did cash the ticket. The prop bet for for Jalen Hurts rushing yards, you know what the number is? 50 and a half. Boy, it sounds like he's healthy if that if they're putting that number at 50. Oh, I, I don't think wow. he is healthy. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Now, this is one where I, I look at him, and it really does boil down to is he effective. And I don't think he is. He hasn't played. He's He's had one hit away. Honestly, I, I like his Giants in that game. Oh, dear God. I do. Wow. David, because he's that cra- – you saw what happened when he's not there. They are nowhere near the same team. They struggled to get to the end of the season. Praying to God. I mean, they were the ones hoping – hey, wait, what do you mean you're going to add an eighth team to the playoffs? We don't want to play week one. We need the rest. And we'll then see the, what happens. Then to close it out, let's close it out with Jacksonville hitting their emotional peak possibly. But then also here, Trevor Lawrence is 37-0 and on Saturdays in his career from high school to now. It's they wild. play Saturday. Absolutely wild. Get ready to have 37-1. and Yeah, I don't think you can go out there and have, what, four interceptions or five? No, yeah, it's just they're young. They're a Cinderella, and I'm with David. They just had the most emotional, like, crazy win ever. Very difficult. And now you're going to a tough Kansas City. To a team that's rested yeah. and waiting for you and even worse, experienced. I, I it's a look, I'm not telling you they won't play close. I, I think I think Trevor Lawrence. Well, see, is but incredible. here's the beauty of it. Even if Kansas City jumps out to an early lead, they can lean back and say, guys, you remember what happened last year? That is week? what we but do. But it's on the road this time versus at but home. Still, we did this before. I okay? understand. I hear you. And that is in football today. Mm-hmm.